YouTube Dan Art here and today I'm going to be teaching you the difference between frame by frame animation and tween animation. So frame by frame is basically every single frame is drawn. So I'm going to give you a demonstration. So I'm going to be working on twos and twos is when you're working on a double keyframe it's not as smooth as on ones because the same keyframe is on for two frames as you can see in the timeline up here and then there's a new blank keyframe and if you're doing frame by frame use the onion skin and the shortcut for this is option shift o and it will help you a bunch i used to not use this and I would end up with a ball like this. And it was supposed to be like this. Now, a frame by frame can look good and bad depending on your skills on animation. Um, squash and stretch, a animation principle, is something that makes your frame by frame look very nice. And... I'm giving a example of squash and stretch. So I'm inserting a new and new blank keyframe. And now I'm just gonna lasso this. All right, just put it a little bit more down. All right, and now make a new keyframe. Insert blank keyframe. And there we go. And make a squashed. Like that. Erase this part. Press brush. And make one more keyframe. Insert keyframe. And now it's starting to build up more of a glob again. And it's basically splatting and this gives a lot of life into your animation all right now I'm gonna put this a little bit forward all right let's look at that that looks pretty cool all right now we're gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it is done with a tween now i'm gonna make this and make a keyframe at the end insert a new keyframe all right and now press shift and move it to over here and now i'm gonna click somewhere in the middle and press right click and press create classic tween and now it's going to tween this and to make it look better than this just go into a frame inside your tween and go to the properties panel and go to where it says ease and go to this little pen right here and edit ease do a custom ease in and ease out so we're going to do a ease in and ease out and make a nice S shape and then press OK. And that gives a nice movement just like that. And you see it does a little bounce. All right. All right, so another example of frame by frame animation is this little animation that I created and it's a surprise animation and it's every single keyframe is drawn new like that all of these are new as you can see it opens his eyes and then that's all drawn but this since it really doesn't need a new drawn keyframe i just got the selection tool and put the point here and then 
just squashed it a bit. And that's how I got that effect without having to redraw this frame. And then I just copy those frames and redo that. And then this is a new draw. This is a squashed extreme version of this drawing right here as you could see and then the rest is just that frame but this is a very good example of frame by frame animation and now we're going to go on with a example with tweened animation all right now we're moving on to the example of the tweened animation and right here we really don't need frame by frame and I added in a custom ease and ease out and this is what it looks like we don't really need to go frame by frame there's really no point so that's what we would use this tweening here for you can also use this for arm movements and puppet animation that's going to be the end of this video teaching you the difference between frame by frame animation and tween animation. This is Dan Art and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.